Hi there, I'm Michael Goodlin with FiddlerShop.com and I was just playing this on the all new Fiddler Man Forever Bow, a 100% vegan bow. Now that simply means that this bow is made without any animal products. We've taken everything we love about our ever popular Fiddler Man carbon fiber bow and replaced any animal product with synthetic or natural alternatives. The tip is an imitation ivory thermoplastic. Instead of horse hair, we have the Zerilon synthetic hair. The fully mounted ebony frog features a nickel silver mounting and slide instead of mother of pearl. We use a synthetic wrap instead of leather or lizard skin. The very attractive and modern end screw is ebony on top of nickel silver hardware without any mother of pearl inlays. The Zerilon synthetic hair is of course the biggest difference between using the Forever Bow and any other bow with horse hair. The hairs themselves are a bit like fishing line. They're very strong and really resistant to breaking. So under aggressive playing, they probably won't break or like normal horse hair would. Will it last forever? Probably not. But you can also get it rehaired with more Zerilon synthetic hair or any other horse hair of your choice. The bow comes ready to play and all you have to do is apply your favorite rosin. Again, we prefer sort of a darker, stickier rosin. It seems to work well. And there are some fundamental differences between synthetic hair and traditional horse hair. The synthetic hair is very smooth naturally and doesn't have the same sort of microscopic scales or little claws that horse hair does. And so it doesn't grip the rosin or grip the string naturally the same way. And so we include a little piece of 100 grit sandpaper that you can use to roughen up the hairs if the bow, if the synthetic hair is not gripping the string or holding the rosin very well. And you can apply it just kind of like as you would apply rosin, to just sort of some, some short strokes, or some long strokes, maybe five to 10. You can do just a little bit at a, at a time and see how it's going, see how it responds. But you can use this to sort of score the hair and make some little adjustments as you want. It's a little more hands-on, yes, but also a little more customizable in that regards. The other significant difference is if you have a loose hair or all the hairs, like I just created by showing you how stretchy it was, is that you can apply heat with a hair dryer or a heat gun. I would probably avoid an open flame and you can use the heat to shrink the hair back up tighter or back into place. Very cool. I have some hairs that I've purposely stretched out. I'm gonna take my heat gun and just on the very lowest setting that I can, just start to heat up the hairs a little bit, evenly across all the strands. Not too hot. I'm gonna keep a little bit of distance from the hair the whole time. Definitely don't wanna melt it. But that's all it takes. Playing-wise, it's almost identical to playing the Fiddlerman Carbon Fiber Bow. Sound-wise, you'll probably notice just slightly more sort of white noise in the sound than using traditional horsehair. And so if you play a lot of quiet, very chamber music or orchestral music, you might not love that. However, if you play a lot of fast, outdoors, fiddle music, Anything electrified or amplified, you probably won't notice it at all, and I think you'll enjoy it. 
And if you are an aggressive player and break a lot of hairs naturally, then I would highly recommend the Forever Bow. Now I know this might be confusing or you might be having a lot of strong feelings about this. So to help you better understand the bow, I've decided to open up the floor and field some questions. Okay, uh, thank you all for coming. I know you're very busy, so let's get started. Uh, you have a question, sir? Yeah, uh, this bow looks wicked cool, but you know, I like me. Uh-huh. So, can I still buy this bow? Uh, you don't have to be a vegan, and you don't have to prove anything to us at Fiddler Shop to enjoy playing the vegan bow. It's also a great option just for traveling through customs or border patrol. Sometimes the inspectors can get a little picky about monitored species. And since this is a fully synthetic product, you don't have to worry about anything like that. But that's a great question. Let's uh, uh, turn over. Uh, maybe you, sir, ma'am, I'm sorry. Yeah, I just wanted to know what rosin tastes good with this bow. No, 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 no. The bow is not edible. You shouldn't eat the bow. It's just made without animal products. Well, when I eat the bow, I want to know what rosin tastes good with it. This one's a bit nutty. Yeah, I'm gonna stop you there. You shouldn't be eating rosin either. Um, you know, maybe this whole interview thing was a bad idea. I think we should, we should stop this now. Thank you all for coming though. So if you need a backup bow, a replacement bow, an upgrade, or a forever bow, Check out the Fiddler Man Forever Bow, available at fiddlershop.com. Remember, don't eat the bow, and don't eat rosin. Thanks so much. I hope that was informative and helpful. Yeah, if you want to buy this product, just click right up here. Right there. Do it. There, we do would it. also love it if you subscribe to our channel so we can keep in touch. It's right over there. And if you want to learn more about us, click right here. Bye, 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 Fiddler Shop.